The scene opens with Clayton Bigsby, the blind black-white supremacist sitting on a bench in a park. Forrest Gump, wearing his trademark red hat, approaches him. Howdy there, mister. What you doing all alone on this here bench? Well, howdy, stranger. I'm just enjoying the peacefulness of the park. What brings you around these parts? Oh, I just like walking and talking to folks. My mama always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Your mama sounds like a wise woman, Forrest. But let me ask you something, boy. Are you aware of the dangers of mixin' races? Mixin' races? Well, I reckon it depends on the race. I once ran real fast against a bunch of different folks, didn't seem too dangerous then. No, no, Forrest. I'm talking about mixin' white and black, like oil and water. It just ain't natural. Well, I ain't too sure about all that. Mama always said we're all equal in the eyes of the Lord. Equal? Equal, you say? Boy, you must be out of your mind. There ain't no equality when it comes to race. Whites are superior, always have been, always will be. Well, I ain't never met a black blind white supremacist before. That's a new one on me. That's right, Forrest, I may be blind, but I can see the truth. Just then, a group of joggers comprising both black and white individuals pass by. Clayton stands up, shaking his fist. Look at them, Forrest, mixing and mingling like it's nothing. It makes my blood boil. Well, I reckon they're just folks trying to stay healthy and enjoying the park. I'll tell you, Forrest, this world ain't what it used to be. Forrest, patting Clayton on the shoulder. Well, maybe not, but it sure is full of surprises. Life is like a mystery. You never know what you're gonna get. You know, Forrest, you may be onto something there. Maybe I've been looking at things all wrong. That's all right, mister. Mom always said it's never too late to see the world a little differently. You know, Forrest, you're all right for a fellow who talks to strangers in the park. Well, shucks, thank you kindly, mister. You ain't too bad yourself for a blind white supremacist. I reckon we make quite the pair, don't we? Sure do. Say you ever run across any black folks in your white supremacist group? Well, not exactly. But maybe it's time for me to reconsider my membership. That's the spirit. You know, my mama always said, life is like a feather in the wind. You gotta go where it takes you. Your mama sounds like a wise woman, Forrest. Maybe I should take her advice. Just then, a stray dog approaches them, wagging its tail. Well, looky there, ain't he just the friendliest little fella? I don't know, Forrest. That there dog might be a mixed breed. Well, mister, I reckon that dog don't care about mixing no races. He just wants someone to scratch him behind the ears. Clayton hesitates for a moment before tentatively reaching out to pet the dog. The dog licks his hand and Clayton chuckles. That's the spirit, mister. Just goes to show you, sometimes you gotta let go of old beliefs and open yourself up to new experiences. The unlikely duo continue chatting and enjoying the park, their friendship blossoming in the most unexpected of ways as the scene fades out. 